Orange Bowl in Miami, Florida, the National Football League is on the air. Today, the Miami Dolphins meet the second place Baltimore Colts. Colts took this kickoff back at their, started from the 15-yard line. Ball at the 49-yard line in Dolphins territory. Third down, and we'll call it a long three. It's just inside the Miami 49. Fans come to life hollering defense, defense. Both receivers spread to the far side. In motion, Dickey to the near side of the field. Herman sprints back to his left, sets the throw. He fires it high. It's intercepted down at the 33-yard line by the Dolphins. By the Dolphins on the far side of the field, William Judson is the guy as they threw into double coverage who leaped in the air and pulled it down. Herman put that ball up just a little bit high. Dolphins failed to, eat, failed to uh, pick up a first down in their first offensive series. Ball back at the Dolphins 48. Back to throw. He has time. Throws deep up the middle. This was going to be picked off by Ralph Blackwood. 20, 25, 30 into the middle. Back to the near side. Shakes one tackle and is belted from behind. And knocked down at the Dolphins 36 yard line. Again, the Dolphins running game not existent thus far this afternoon. Tackle on the play made by the free safety Nesby Glasgow. So the shotgun people come in. The Dolphins still looking for their first first down of the ball game. Well, the Dolphins haven't scored a touchdown in some time now. Uh, you know, out in San Francisco, uh, they were holding on. Last week, they didn't get a they didn't get a score at all, uh, except for two field goals up in New England. So uh, this offense right now is, is slumping. Needs to snap out of it. They've gone. Uh, they're now in their seventh quarter without a TD. Third down and ten from the 36. The shotgun people. Let's see if they can pick up a first down. High snap. Marino pulls it down. In the pocket, is going to run for it. Now he cuts it back to the right, 35-40. Does not achieve a first down. Out to the 43-yard line. Their second offensive series following the Dolphin defensive interception. The Dolphin offense fails to move it. There are three out of five and third down conversions. Uh, the two that they didn't make were gone for interceptions. Williams and Moore remain the backs from the 38-yard line. Now it's Dickey back in there. He goes in motion to the far side. Back to throw is Herman. Flips it upfield and is caught and dropped. Punting unit uh, comes on. Here is Stark's punt. A low driller upfield. Clayton drifts to his left. Grabs it up for 20. Cuts for the near side. 25. Gets out to about the 30-yard line before he is dragged down. Rick Weaver back at the Orange Bowl. The Dolphins still don't have a first down in the first quarter. They've gone uh, almost seven quarters without scoring a touchdown. Here is the handoff. Big hole, Franklin over the right side, 35-40. He's got the first down across the 40, out to the 41-yard line. Jackson and I, receivers are spread. First Dolphins, first down. Here is Overstreet over the right side, cuts it outside, 45, gets out of the 50-yard line. Reno barks the signals. Here's the snap. Give to Franklin over the right side. Threads his way straight ahead and gets the first down down to the post 45-yard line. Now Marino has a drive in operation. Tackle made by Johnny Cooks, the inside linebacker from Mississippi State. First down, Miami. Two in a row now to coach 45. First time the Dolphins have been in this end of the field. Running to the right side, Rick, and uh, getting the good blocking up front from Stevenson, clearing out the linebacker, as you said, Laxo and Newman doing a job on the right. All right, they're going to let the uh, clock run down. That's the end of the first quarter. They'll change ends of the field, of course. The score at the end of one, the Dolphins nothing, the Colts nothing. Reno will drop to throw it. He has all day. Pops it across the middle. It is caught by Bruce Hardy inside the 40, and he gets down to the 39-yard line. They will mark the ball ahead of the 38, second down and a long three down at the coach 38-yard line. Here is the handoff, misdirection play, and it didn't fool anybody as Nathan, trying to cut from his left back to his right, was decked at the line of scrimmage. Marino from the coach 38. Dolphins have gone seven quarters without a touchdown. Somebody jumps from the coach. Flag is down. Marino back to throw. Deep up the middle. He's got Rose. He makes the catch. Interference is going to be called. The ball came out as he hit the ground, and there were three flags called for interference on uh, Vernon Maxwell. On the interference, first and goal down at the eight-yard line, 28 yards on the interference call. One receiver more to the near side. Backs for spread, more in motion. Here is the handoff, big hole over the right side, and down, close to the goal line. Uh, they haven't called a touchdown yet. Yeah, now they do. As the Dolphins send uh, Andre Franklin over the right side, and he 
he gets in for his fifth touchdown rushing of the year. A gaping hole behind Waxall, behind Newman, behind the tight ends over the right side. And they ran right over former Dolphin Tate Randall at the goal line. He was down at the goal line, but apparently broke the plane, and the line judge on the far side raised his hands. So the Dolphins get on the board first, six to nothing. As Franklin, an eight-yard run, a 70-yard drive, and six plays. And the interference call against Maxwell was one of the key plays in the drive. Strock to hold. Von Schaumann can make it seven-zip. Here's the snap. Set down. The kick is up. And it is good. So it's a seven-nothing score in favor of Miami. 13-31. Left to go in the first half. Krause grabbed him by one leg and held on for dear life. So the Dolphins moving it steadily downfield. Have another first down after uh, going to the 142 mark of the first quarter before they achieve their first one. And they are achieving what I was talking about earlier. Good ball control coming up on the four and a half minute mark now on this drive and just marching relentlessly downfield, picking apart things that the Colts are giving them. That time they were in four down linemen, and so uh, Marino, when they go to four down linemen, has been thrown to Nathan, that's why he's so open. Ball up to 31, first down. Franklin and Nathan are the backs. Moore in motion, back to the near side. Here's the give down to Franklin over the right side. Puts his head down and booms his way inside the 30 for the 27-yard line. Third down, and we'll call it a long three. They mark the ball right at the 25-yard line. Out of the shotgun, Duper to the far side. Get Clayton and Rose put off the near side. On third down and long three, Marino drops the throw. Looks into the middle, he's got a man open. Drop! Wide open and headed for the end zone. Maybe that was the problem, was Tony Nathan at the 15-yard line. The ball was there. He had, he had six points, he knew it. He took his eye off the ball. And nobody feels any worse about it but, than Tony, but he will never be that open again. Boy, I had six points written all over it, but uh, Tony just, uh, as you said, didn't, uh, he just dropped it. I don't think there's any excuse for it. It's unfortunate for him. Von Schallen will try the field goal now. A strike comes in the hole from the 32-yard line. It'll be a 42-yard attempt. Uber's longest on the season, 52 yards. He's 12 out of 19. He's kicking into the wind. Here's the snap set down. Von Schaumann gets it up there. He's got the distance on it. It's good. So Von Schaumann out of his slump for a couple of weeks. Gives the Dolphins a 10-point lead now. 10-zip with 5.37 left to go before the end of the half. 42-yard field goal. Culminates a 68-yard drive in 10 plays. Time of possession, 6 minutes. The Miami 16 yard line. They've got a third down coming up at about 15 yards to go. The shotgun people are in there. Third down and 15. Back to throw. Here's Marino. Sprints back to his right. He looks. He looks. He's firing deep up the middle. He's got a man down there and he's caught. 30. Double to 30. It is. What a goal for a touchdown for Mark Cooper. 85 yards. He got away from Tate Randall, ran across the field. He was picked up by Jeff Delaney, the free safety. No match for Duper in speed. And Duper just outlegged him to the end zone. He walked the last seven yeah, yards. He turned around and looked. He actually stopped and says, come and get me. And he danced into the end zone for about 10 yards out. Duper catches the longest touchdown pass of the season, 85 yards. So the Dolphins now move out to a 16 and nothing lead. The snap, the kick is up, and it's 17-zip in favor of Miami, 142. Left to go in a half. 84-yard drive and three plays. Time of possession, 124. The Dolphins lead by 17 and nothing. The Colts, unable to throw the football, are falling farther and farther behind where they'll have to throw it. Here is the kickoff. He grabbed to the near side by Anderson at the 5, 10, up the sideline of the 15 to the 20-yard line before he is dragged down at the Colts 20. He likes to go to his backs and to his tight end. He has been able to get the ball to the wide receivers. Herman back to throw. Everybody after him. He throws the ball away. And they rule it an incomplete forward pass. <laughs> Second down and 10. The ball from the 20-yard line of the Colts. Receivers spread all over the place. Here's Herman dropping the throw again. Blitz on. They got it. Ernie Rohn on the blitz back at the 10-yard line. 
Herman now will go to the ground, hands off to Newton Williams, and they're waiting for that one. He tries to run to the right side, and they smash him to the turf at the 10-yard line. No gain on the play, so Stark will come in in front. The tackles made by Betters and Bo Camper. They played wishbone with him. See if the Dolphins have a return on here, Rick, or if they go after the punter. Clayton is back deep, and Stark will stand about uh, five yards deep in the end zone. Line of scrimmage, the Colts 10. 119 to go. I think they're going to go after him. Hopefully, somebody can get the ball without hitting the kicker. No, they don't. They tried, but he got it off in a hurry. Bounces one upfield, gets a roll. Clayton grabs the Dolphin 40, runs 45, 50, 45, 40 into the middle. A little good official. He's gone. 25, 20, 15, 10, 5. And he picked it up and hopped into his right into his hands. He grabbed it and took off. I think they felt that the ball was going to roll dead, but Clayton picked it up very alertly and took off. Got some good blocking downfield. Cut it to the outside, was gone. That for the Dolphins, for Mark Clayton, a 60-yard kick return, and it's the second return touchdown of the season for Miami. Of course, the uh, first for Mark Clayton. Henry? And how alert that special team was, because as soon as they saw Clayton pick up the ball, they started looking for guys to knock down. He grabbed it to the near side. Rodell Thomas almost had a block of the kick, and Stark got it out of there in a hurry. Rolled it upfield. Clayton grabbed it at the 40, and he just ran by people who seem to be frozen. Here is Von Schaumann's five for point. It's up, and it's perfect. So it's a 24 to nothing in the game. Uh, it's turned into a route in favor of the Dolphins with still a minute to play in the first half. The end of the first half for the Dolphins very much in command of this game, leading 24 to nothing. Third down at 18. On third down conversions, they are three for eight. Dickey and McMillan in the split backfield. Now he will drop the throw. Dolphins coming after him. They've got him again back at the four-yard line. Doug Betters, the leading sacker in the NFL, gets his first of the game at number 16 on the season. He just picked uh, Herman up and deposited him gently on his derriere at the four-yard line. Yeah, some uh, quarterbacks, running backs, buy uh, watches for their offensive linemen. I don't think this offensive line is going to get anything but the gate from their quarterback. Everybody sets in tight. Backs are Nathan and Franklin in the eye. Third down in a yard from the foot line. Here is the Marino trying to sneak it in. He got it. Fumble. Dolphins, I believe. Let's, uh, let's see what the call is going to be. One official raised his hands, and they're going to rule it a touchdown for Miami. Yeah, he crossed the plane of the end zone with the ball in his hand. The, the fumble came after he crossed the plane. Therefore, it's not a fumble. And Von Schaumann will try to make it 31. Here's the snap set down. The kick is up, and Uber makes it 31 to nothing in favor of Miami with four minutes and one second to go in the third quarter. Marino, one-yard sneak, uh, time of possession, 631, 54 yards, 11 plays. And the Dolphins now lead 31 to nothing. So that will be the end of the third quarter. With the score, Miami 31, Baltimore nothing. Nathan, the back in behind from the Dolphins' 47-yard line. Marino, quick drop, throws it across the middle, is caught by Clayton at the 40, down to the Colts' 35-yard line. A slant across the middle, and Marino drilled it in there. I mean, he threw the fastball at 90 miles an hour. The young Dolphin offensive linemen who have not played that much, two in a row, stopping two consecutive first downs. The pass completion to Moore was good for 15 yards, and the Dolphins are moving the wrong way. Somebody ought to teach uh, Foster how to hold. That's what I was just going to say. That's a technique problem when you get called that frequently for the amount of time he has played. Illegal use of the hands, number 61, offense, jam to the face. Third down and 24. The Dolphins have had the first down twice. Marino, let's see if he can make it on the third time around from the 37. Here's the snap. Rolls to a little up, cuts your head, 35, 30, Nathan down to the 20, down to the 15, he's down to the 12-yard line, he's got the first down, they made it. That's a forward pass out of the uh, formation, Marino just shoveled it ahead to Tony Nathan coming inside, and it picks up 24 yards, exactly what they needed, down to about the 12-yard line for a first down. Ball down at the two, first and goal from that point. Dolphins lead 31 to nothing, trying to get another one. 8.15 to go. 
to give to Woody Bennett. He is close to the goal line on the uh, misdirection play, and he gets in. He broke the point of the end zone. So Woody Bennett gets into the end zone for the score, his second touchdown on the ground. Cliff Odom tried to stand him up at the goal line, but Bennett just kept those legs turning and knocked him backwards and broke the plane of the end zone. Here's the snap. It's blocked. It was a bad snap, and Sprott never did get it straight up. That was not Uber's fault, so Von Schemann misses his third extra point of the year, and the Dolphins have to settle for 37 to nothing with 8.06 to go. 88-yard drive, 17 plays, and the Dolphins lead by a score of 37 to nothing. Colts in no hurry to get a playoff. This is the first Dolphin division to, opponent uh, that they've been able to sweep this year, Rick. And it will be a shutout, their second of the year. Somebody jumps from the Dolphins, gets back in time. Herman just hands off, and the ball carrier gets out to the 21-yard line. Only 15 seconds to go. Mike Charles made the tackle on uh, Curtis Dickey, and that's going to be the last play of the game. Ten seconds show on the board. The teams are shaking hands, heading for the dressing room. Dolphins have won 37-0. We'll be back in a minute on the Miami Dolphins football network.